In this video, I'm going to show a workflow for representing wires or tubes that aren't modeled in the CAD data inside SOLIDWORKS Composer using polylines. So my preferred way to do this is going to be to use the Author tab and then create a polyline. And the polyline is going to be really simple to start with. And we can just choose where we want it to start. If you hold down Alt, that will allow you to snap to the center of edges. So I'm just going to connect this from center to center there and then right click to exit the polyline for now. Then what I want to do is choose the submenu for polyline and choose to add a node. I'm going to want one node near each endpoint and then two nodes in the middle. And I'll hit escape to get out of the uh, adding more nodes. What I'll want to do now is roughly position these. So I'm just going to click and drag, and I want these first points to be, uh, we may need to actually figure out where these are all landing to. Click and drag them around. I want the first points to be coming straight out of the wire, and the second two points to be somewhere in the middle here. And what we're going to do is with this polyline selected, the entire polyline, I'll come over and click smooth to smooth that into more of a spline shape there. Now to, we don't really know, I don't really know how this looks in 3D, so I've got a little twisted up, so I'll start going to my orthogonal views and straightening things out this way. So I'll go to a straight top view and then I'll go to a straight right view or Z. And you may even want to run this a little bit into the piece that you're trying to route from. So when you think you have it looking pretty reasonable, then I'll come down and I can crank up the width to better represent a wire. Now it does seem to max out the width at a certain point, so um, what I found is it's kind of dependent on zoom level here and the scale of the model. So if I zoom out, I can get that to look a little better there. But as I zoom in, it's going to look thinner and thinner on the wire. Uh, so that's the basic procedure for, for doing this, and then I'd update my view. I've got a camera view here to save uh, save the exact orientation I want. And then I can update this view. And then even if we want to animate this, if I go to the, the state where it's moved, we can animate those properties in the timeline or through views like this. So I'm going to go and show that polyline I was working on. And I'll just need to reposition the endpoints there. So uh, this one I might just start off right away with the orthogonal views to make my life a little easier. And you almost want to start with the uh, farthest away points. That looks pretty good. So again, I'll access my camera view and then update the view that we had there. And we should get basically an animation between these two. So we could put that onto the timeline if we need to. And you can repeat this process to get kind of a more convincing result where we can have multiple wires represented and also animate those. So again, this is a workflow that will allow you to crudely approximate any wires or tubing uh, that you need to represent in Composer that you don't have modeled in CAD or that you need to flex or deform during an animation. Let us know in the comments section below what type of content you'd like to see next.